I wanna make sure that my legs are shoulder distance apart. Then I'm gonna kneel down and grip the bar. We wanna have strong hands. After that, rotate back and sit back. You heard me talk about the imaginary chair. Right here, I'm seated and I'm gonna drive with my legs. Back down, control, drive with my legs and pull through with my hips. So this is pretty bad deadlift advice and it's kind of sad because he has a lot of muscles and followers so people will take what he says for granted. He's doing what they call squatting your deadlift, basically turning it from a hip hinge movement into a squat movement. You don't want to sit your hips back and down. You want to get your hips closer to the bar because it's going to lower the distance between the external load and the axis of rotation, therefore lowering the moment arm and improving your leverages. You also want to have your hips at the height where the bar breaks the floor more or less because that's the most efficient position for you, hence why the bar actually starts moving when they're there. This goes for both conventional and sumo, by the way. 